Hey y'all, Zach McDonald, your real estate agent here with Real Property Associates, and I am testing out a new toy here, so I'm gonna go for a video walk. And this video is going to be my most recent offer negotiation review, and I'm actually gonna review three different offers here, and what I wanna do is just describe each of them a little bit, tell the story, and then hopefully pull out a few nuggets that are applicable to you if you're thinking about buying a house here in the near future or if you are planning to sell in the near future. I think there's some real value for you in these videos as well. So what I wanna do here is share the first one. This is from Monday, actually. So this review, there were, this is actually a buyer that I'm working with. I've been working with these buyers for a little while. We've made a few offers and haven't had the best luck. Um, specifically, <laughs> the last two offers, including this one, we ran into a cash buyer. And you don't run into cash every day. There's, I guess the word on the street is that there's so many cash buyers out there, there really aren't. And when you run into one, it's hard to compete against a cash buyer if they're aggressive. And in this market, I found that typically they are. And we just have run into those. So my clients made a great offer. The agent even said, you know, your terms were great. They, they did a pre-inspection. They offered to make up a dif difference of a low appraisal. They did a lot of the things that we talk about and we discuss when we talk about strategy. But in the end, this cash buyer was able to close faster, had absolutely no contingencies and was willing to actually beat their price even. So. Unfortunately, we lost that on that one, but I'm really hopeful for these these buyers. They're great clients and they watch my YouTube videos. So hi, if you're watching this one, take heart. It's, it's gonna happen soon. There's gonna be a good house for you that we're gonna be able to find and you're not gonna have a cash buyer every time. I know it's been two in a row, so that's kind of a bummer. The, the next one um, I wanna talk about is actually two different offers. One is working with a buyer and one with a seller from yesterday. The We'll start with the listing. So this is one where we uh, actually found the house and some investors purchased it and did a remodel on the house. And they did a great job on this house. And what, the, what that really means is it took 10 months and it wasn't as quick of a turn as we would have liked. But the uh, this house is in my neighborhood actually. It's a, a four bedroom, two and a quarter rambler, uh, two and a quarter bath rambler. Everything was done to this house. And you know it has, new heating system, new electrical, all the surfaces have been re -update, have been updated, flooring, paint, that kind of stuff. And it's really a sweet house. And we gave it an offer review date, one week. And at the end of that offer review date, I was kind of, I wasn't sweating it because I know sometimes you don't get an offer at your offer review date, uh, specifically on the remodels. But we got an offer on that day in the morning, the agent called me right before our deadline. Hey, do you have any offers? And I said, no, please, uh, please bring me one. And so she showed her clients, they loved it, made us a great full price offer and we accepted it. So at this point, we're just kind of waiting for the inspection period to be over and hoping that they want to move forward. I think they will. What's interesting though, in this situation is a lot of sellers will panic and start to question, well, I only got one offer. What's wrong with my house? Did we do something wrong? It seems like everybody's getting multiple offers and what I would say to that is that's not the case. A lot of people end up with multiple offers, but there are, are certain houses and specifically this one, a higher price in the neighborhood, the, one of the nicer houses in the neighborhood, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. So if you get one full price offer on your offer review date, that is awesome. Be excited about that. That would be uh, my message if you were one of my clients. Um, that's that's great. We've, we've had it on the market. This house had this is the, I had the most people I've ever had through an open house probably in a weekend and the most uh, amount of showings in such a short amount of time. So that's all encouraging signs and to get one full price offer just knows we were priced right on, right on the spot. So the, uh, the last one here I wanna talk about and hopefully there's some value here as well. A buyer, I, I met these, these clients walking in my neighborhood. They were just showing up to take a look at the flyer for the house across the street and they were asking questions about it and asking if I knew. And I was like, well, I am a real estate agent. Do you want to see the inside? So I showed them the house. We uh, kind of hit it off. And a few months later, they decided to uh, to work with me. They just gave me a call out of the blue and were like, hey, you were so nice. We wanted to talk with you a little bit more about buying a house. And these buyers have been super fun to work with. And they've been very selective about the houses they offer on. So we've looked at a few, but not a lot. And they this is their second offer now. And they were successful partly because they were 
informed and prepared to make a competitive offer and they were also just selective. They made sure that they were making an offer on the house they really liked and wanted to live in and make home. So uh, this one there were three other offers so we were one of four and we were I believe we were the second highest offer on the price but our terms were great and so we had waived our <clears throat> financing contingency and they had offered a really strong amount of earnest money I think it was about four percent and it escalated 20 25,000 over the asking price so they really made a strong offer and in the end the seller's agent called us we did a little bit of negotiating changed a few little things and they ended up with a house so they're super excited we were celebrating with some uh, some fun text messages last night some emojis and gifts if you don't know what that is you can look it up but it's just it's just fun all around and they're super excited so I'm super excited for them and <clears throat> in this all there are uh, there's one kind of underlying thread that I think is important to talk about there's been a lot of talk about a Seattle market shift and is the market slowing down there's definitely some more homes on the market and that is super normal to see more inventory this time of year it, it did happen a little earlier than it had has in the past but a couple years ago we saw the same thing more homes come on the market people are getting a little tired and burnt out as buyers they're being a little more selective and so you start to see more homes come on less homes go off but we're still seeing those <clears throat> those homes and I just mentioned two buyers with multiple offers we're still seeing the good houses go quick and get multiple offers and we're just seeing some of those other houses that we all know what they are they're kind of funky they're on a busy road they typically sit and they're still sitting so I'm not concerned about the market and where it's at right now of course I don't have a crystal ball and I and I can't predict every eventuality or every possible income outcome not income it's just interesting though to, to be able to see that and be on the ground in it and maybe it's the price point these buyers are both in that at same five to six hundred thousand dollar price point super popular at the higher price points we're not seeing the houses move as as quickly as as we were but we're still a super hot real estate market there's still competition out there for the good houses so um, if you're a seller this is still a great time to sell if you're a buyer this is still a good time to buy even a better time because there are some more options a little less competition a little more selection so hope this is valuable for you I, I always try to bring value in these times and hopefully getting to see inside of these negotiations and kind of see into my head and see into these buyers heads will help you be successful as you start to look for a house and make offers bye for now